Justice Sproul. <coughs> Call this meeting of West Bronx City Council to order. Roll call, please. Christie? Here. Crowner? Here. Heitmeyer? Here. Lees? Here. Waterman? Here. Need to perfect and approve the agenda. So moved. Support. Motion of support. Any discussion? Roll call. Crowner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Christie? Aye. Motion carried. Consent agenda. Motion to approve is presented. Support. support. Motion to support to approve consent agenda items one through 10, which are the minutes from the regular city council meeting on the last date of 2020. Uh, the clerk's monthly financial report for October 2020, the liquor license renewal for Highway 34 truck stop, a liquor license renewal for Westland fast break, Training for five firefighters at the annual fire department instructor conference. Payment to Ideal Ready Mix Company. Payment to Burlington Fire Department for ambulance service. Payment to Four Seasons Excavation for water main repair. Uh, payment to municipal supply. And the claims list has presented the amount of $614,294.79. Any discussion? Roll call. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Christie? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Motion carried. Staff reports. Dan? I just got one thing. I, I told you a while ago I was working on a, a grant to uh, extend, possibly extend the trail from where it, the new trail ends to somewhere around the mall where it can dump out and connect to. Uh, something in there in the future. I'm um, having a meeting with, a tele-meeting with some of the DOT representatives talking about how we get across the bridge, what they recommend, and that sort of thing. So I'll let you know how that goes. That grant application is due the last day of December, so I'll be working on that. It's a fairly simple application. I, I think I put the last one together in a week, so I should be able to get it in by then. Right. Yeah, I just want to reiterate my email. The sooner we can get that information on, on last year's goals and, and that information for the budget process, I'm sure appreciate it. Mike? And we're caught up on leaves, and right now you'll see us running around. We're vacuuming all water valves out, cleaning mud and rock out of them, so they're accessible when we need them, and locating ones that need replaced, and working on that, and a few hydrants. That's about all I got. That's all you got. All I got. Mm -hmm. Do I have anything for Mike? I, I saw you. Oh, out excuse walking. me. Yeah, I forgot. I did walk the Houston project with Matt Walker today to do a final walkthrough. And, there's a few issues with some rock and concrete laying around and a few things they're going to address and then uh, we can get that project closed out sidewalks are all good though yep. all right. okay excellent anybody have anything for mike anything else the new box at the south lift who i forgot is getting pulled out tomorrow and i'm not sure if the new one will be here to be set the crane's supposed to be on site tomorrow at the south lift or that broken lift station okay it's all short and they're going to be pulling it and hopefully setting the new one tomorrow and get back to replumbing things. Okay. Jesse. Got a couple things. Uh, shift bids went out to the guys so they can, uh, by seniority, they get to do shift bids on January 1st and July 1st. So that went out last week. Um, they're due this week and we are working with Walmart again this year um, the last three years Walmart has donated several hundred dollars worth of gift cards and they go out with me and we go drive around the community and check for motorists that are wearing their seat belts looking for kids that are in car seats um, all that and uh, on behalf of Walmart, we donate a, a gift, or gift card to them during the holidays, just kind of help some families out throughout the community. So 
we'll be doing that here closer to Christmas. Yeah. Do I have anything for Jess? Thanks. Sean? On the building side, I had a couple permits issued this week. I'm working on one with a homeowner who uh, there's some issues with his request that would cause it to go to the Board of Adjustment. Uh, trying to work with them, come up with some solutions, um, and making headway on that. Had a couple of rental inspections that I, I got done. There was nobody in there, so that was perfect timing to get in there. No, no risk to me or the landlord or, you know, the future occupants. They were, you know, we had a good clean area. Um, there were a couple properties that I noted last time that I'd sent notices out to get cleaned up. The one is cleaned up uh, to satisfaction. The other one is pretty close. I talked with the landlord. Uh, he just asked for some clarification, curious as to his responsibilities. I explained them to him. Uh, he's worked real well with me and uh, we're hopeful that we can continue the push to get that one finalized. On the fire side, last time I reported to you at the end of the council meeting, uh, the guys had gone out and raised roughly about $1,100. Since that time, um, <clears throat> they've been out several more times and they, they managed to raise over $15,000 for Toys for Tots. Um, actually a bit more than that. Um, it wasn't just for Toys for Tots, it's also being used uh, for some families that'll be picked out in town where the kids, uh, don't have quite as much for Christmas and we've always done that uh, at least for the last 10 years that I can remember uh, but the other day um, Jesse dropped off a check to Toys for Tots in the amount of $15,000 oh. um, that's just amazing because in the past we've um, combined with Toys for Tots maybe spent about 10000 so the generosity of the citizens in, in Des Moines County because it's not just West Burlington um, it's Des Moines County people passing through also has just been outstanding and I'm, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, beyond that, I really don't have anything unless you have any questions. Friday. Okay. Yeah, we'll be out on Friday, uh, Friday night. We're going to go out to Walmart and do the purchases and then the, the parade to, um, the drop off spot at Westland mall and, and take care of that. The toys for tots is, is done, uh, through the Marines through the Marine Corps, uh, it's 100% volunteer time and everything given to Toys for Tots is 100% <coughs> goes back to the kids. Um, they don't take any portion of that. Are they doing an all-nighter again or? Uh, they usually usually do. I don't know if they are this year because of COVID. 12 to 7 p.m. on Friday and then they're starting at 7 a.m. on Saturday through uh, noon. So I'm really appreciative of, of yeah. our, mm -hmm. our citizens. So well, it's great of the guys going out doing that also. So commend them for standing out there almost getting hit a few times <laughs> probably. Yeah, we had a discussion on locations. <laughs> so. All right, thanks. Kelly, you got anything going on? No, not tonight. Leslie? No. Kathy? Yeah, I'd just like to remind everybody that our Neighbors Helping Neighbors program is underway and we've had some leaves raked for some people in town. I really appreciate it. And what it is is volunteers can um, call me or sign up on the website to help some either seniors or someone who's not capable of raking their own leaves or shoveling their snow. And um, anybody who's just thinking about it, I encourage you to just give me a call and we can talk about it. I really appreciate it. Andy? Not tonight. Nope, nothing. Reese? No. No? Good. All right. Anyone wishing to address the council on matters that are not on the agenda tonight? There's a chance. Okay. We'll go to, we have a public hearing, which is, I'll open a public hearing on a proposal to enter into a water revenue loan and disbursement agreement to borrow up to $5,977,000 for the purpose of funding the Mount Pleasant Street Water Tower and Booster Station project. Receive any written comments, Kelly? No written or Any verbal comments? 
No. Any one citizen wishing to make a comment at this time? Council comments. We'll close the public hearing. New business. Item number one is to consider a resolution adopting the Des Moines County Pre Disaster Mitigation Plan. This is a plan that gets updated about every five to eight years and it encompasses the whole county. And uh, the last time I believe we were asked to uh, uh, participate uh, monetary wise, but uh, this time around the uh, county took it all upon themselves to pay for regional planning to update the plan and it seems to me like they've done a pretty good job with it. So move. Support. The motion was support. Any discussion? My only question on this, and I know we're not the only ones in charge of it, but I just wanted to bring this back to whoever does go to the next meeting on this in the future. It would be nice, because I went through this on the school board side, uh, if we had a list of changes when we were brought this next time in the future, so it was easy to see, here's kind of what's been updated from this plan to the next time. Uh, so if you just bring that back to them as a, as a suggestion. Okay. Any other discussion? Roll call. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Christie? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Motion carried. Item number two is discuss the water rates increases to finance the water tower and booster station project and consider resolution taking additional action on proposal to enter into a water revenue loan disbursement agreement. As you can see from Dan's memo, he, uh, there's three options that are proposed to you. And uh, option three seems to be the one that uh, saves the best amount of money in the long term for the city. Is the date right on that third option? Yeah, I think it just, there's a typo that didn't get moved down. But I'm not sure, we, we probably don't have enough time to do three readings by 1st of January, so I think that's why we stuck February in there. Well, the it's, third date. Yeah. Oh, the third date. It says Jan January 2022, but I'm guessing you mean 2023. No, it's 22. It's 22. It, it should be, see, we're under option two, where it says then the second line, 10% February 2021. That should move down and be the first of option three. So it would be 10% February 2021, 15% uh, July 2022, and then 15% should be 2023. Oh, well, so that's, that's July 21 and then January 22 is what I think you're looking at, what you were talking about. So I think the middle one's the one that's wrong. Mm. No, it should be 2021 and then 2022. Yeah, 2022. Okay, so you're moving the July 2nd boost to 2021. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Okay. It should be February 2021, July 2021, and January 2022 under option three. You know, we actually do the ordinances to actually do the updates. That's when we'll have all the information of the various tiers and how that's all going to work through. But basically, right now, all the all of the people involved in this financing need to know is that is that you're picking option three because that sets up the, the payment schedule and then we can figure out how we want to charge that off to our citizens in the next upcoming meetings over three readings with a new ordinance. Well, I move that we choose option three. Board. Motion to support. Any further discussion? I like option three because it saves the city and the taxpayers the most money, but I was surprised with the speed of all three of those. 
because now we're talking about doing them all before the other two proposals would even have any increase at that with that date change that you just talked about so we've basically moved all 36 percent up I just want to make sure I'm hearing you right. So option one, the July payment should be a year ahead of that. Yes, 36% July 2021 and then 5% July 2022. Option two is 20% July 2021 and 20% July 2022. Okay. If all that being true, then I would go option three as well. That would make more <laughs> sense with those date, with that date change. Any other discussion? <clears throat> roll call. Okay, now is this also the um, just voting on that percentage or the resolution as well? Because I did, I only had it. Well, it would be that be in that resolution, wouldn't it? That resolution doesn't specifically talk about that. We just have to let them know what, which one we want to go with. So just a consensus for that and a, okay. Yeah, well then we'll have to do an ordinance for the actual. Yeah, the or, we'll have to do We can ordinance. do two votes. I just wanted to make sure I was, we were on the same page. Yeah. We'll just do a consensus vote for the percentage. Yeah, for option have, three, that was percentage. Yeah, and then another vote for the resolution. Because well, we the got resolution, a we have... the resolution was. Resolution was up above there. Right, but it, it was just on there again. That resolution, we've already you've already passed that up under the uh, after the public hearing. We haven't. We didn't vote on that yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then you're gonna have to vote on that. That resolution. Re well. Rather than we didn't really need a motion, a vote for the consent make to the to get the to the consensus of the percentages. But, no, but you do need one for that. But we have it on we we have it on the table is all I'm saying. So, so we'll the resolution it. just doesn't even mention anything. Right. We can just because we have a motion and a second on the, the consensus of the percentages. We'll just go ahead and finish that. You can just do a roll. I'll do a roll call for. Okay, let's do a roll call on that. Waterman. Aye. Christie. Aye. Crowner. Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Please? Aye. That motion carried. So now we need a motion to approve a resolution. So moved. Support. Motion with support. Any discussion? My, my only discussion would be before we move on from this topic, if Leslie could walk us through the packet um, that was sent. Those are just samples of what we go to different options there's unbelievable variables that yeah. we can do that's why we're going to discuss rates tonight we're just trying to get some ideas to look at and okay. because we're not ready to set rates but it's just that is there some other option you want to see in there i can run the numbers for you too what, what's our timing on approving the rates when yeah. you have to start the next meeting or you know it's going first unless you're going to wait to read next couple of weeks you can look through all these a through g and see which one you like or if there's something else that you want to look at g don't look at g because well, g was with 36 percent right it's but, it's still, but it's, it wasn't for sure which one we guys were going to approve yeah, it's, it's, it's still was, there was it giving you two weeks to look at that and then we, and we can discuss it further at that point and if you have questions you can get with us and in the meantime so we can figure it out so we aren't we aren't throwing out numbers on the fly trying to 
you know, what if, what if we do this, what if we do that? We, in order to get the resolution, the ordinance written, we kind of have to have an idea that you're okay with one of those options. Yeah, do you want to go with a flat amount for each each tier level? Or do you want to change, add some tiers? That's why you kind of cut it down below so we get that in tiers and you want different tiers within there. Okay, I'll review this week and get with you. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, Leslie's got a pretty good spreadsheet that she can change stuff on the fly if you come in and uh, so you can suggest stuff and, and she can do it on the fly so it, you can see the effect of it as you go. So that would be the way to do it is to come in and play with it. Okay. Roll call. Christy? Aye. Browner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Carried. Item number three is to consider payment of French Ranger Associates for engineering services related to the Houston Street Improvement Project in the amount of $14,106.02. Motion to approve. Support. Motion with, there's a motion with support. Is there any discussion? Roll call. Please. Aye. Waterman. Aye. Christie. Aye. Browner. Aye. Heitmeyer. Aye. The motion carried. Item number four is consider payment to Tom's backhoe for work completed on the South Lift station in the amount of three hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So moved. Support. There's a motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Waterman. Aye. Christie? Aye. Browner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Motion carried. Item number five is to consider a change order number one from Tom's backhoe and excavating for the South Lift Station project and the amount of $55,585.19. And I think Ben has written a, a great memo explaining what's happened out there and on top of Dan's memo also. So moved. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? When's this push our final date to? Uh, About 21 days, I think, isn't it? 20, including it says May 21st yeah from April 30th to um, May 21st we'll call Christy aye Crowner aye Heitmeyer aye Lees aye Waterman aye was carried Item number six is to consider payment to MG Daily Construction <clears throat> for work completed on the Agency Road Pedestrian Crossing Project in the amount of $45,838.07. So moved. Support. Motion of support. Any discussion? Roll call. Crowner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Christie? Aye. Motion carried. Item number seven is consider a resolution authorizing the sale of an obsolete self-propelled concrete saw on govdeals.com. So moved. Support. The motion was support. Any discussion? Absolutely no way this thing can be salvaged. Four or five grand, and the whole saw is uh, what I put in. It's over tw over 25 years old. I can't get parts for it anywhere. I just don't see spending that money, and then the motor next year or a drive shaft or something else. It's to the point that uh, with all the streets that have been redone and new, we're not cutting much street. 
we rented a saw twice this year and that was it. And I just feel right now just to go get one for the day to do what we got to do versus spending that a little over $18,000 to replace it at this time. We'll go. Hi, Mayor. Hi. Please, I'm Waterman. Hi. Christy? Aye. Browner? Aye. Motion carried. Item number eight is to consider a resolution authorizing the sale of obsolete office desk phones on govdeals.com. Uh, support. The motion was support. Any discussion? Is everybody happy so far with the new phones? Well, I'll get no answer. <laughs> That's good. That's good when there's no answer. Uh, I, I think they're working out pretty well, and I think we're still trying to get used to how they work. But. Roll call. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Christy? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Motion carried. Item number nine is to consider resolution adding Taylor Sowers to the fire department. So move. Support. support. Motion was support. Any discussion? Is he here? <laughs> Which one is he? Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you for wanting to volunteer and welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Roll call. Waterman? Aye. Christie? Aye. Browner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Motion carried. Again, thanks. Thank you for yep. your service. Right. Yeah, thank you very much. Item number 10 is considered from uh, promoting firefighters Zach Boyd, Jason Shackelford, and Nick Ewinger. Motion approved. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Christy? Aye. Browner? Aye. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. <coughs> Carried. Item number 11 is to consider a resolution setting a public hearing on the proposed plans, specification, form of contract, notice the bidders, and the engineer's opinion of probable costs for the Lewis Park Water Resource Restoration Project on December 16th at 6 p.m. Motion to approve. Support. Motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Heitmeyer? Aye. Lees? Aye. Waterman? Aye. Christie? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Motion well, carried. Anybody have any old business? Anyone at Citizens Inquirers wanting to address the council on matters we did discuss or didn't discuss tonight? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. So Support. The motion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>